point when it's still on the boil, when, it has, when it's not done yet. And that needs to be discussed more so that what comes out of this organization is not work in progress, but decisions. Action decisions, decisions to address things. Now, I was at, I was at Everett's meeting, at that meeting, and the, the, the material that came up came from the community. And maybe it was half-baked. And maybe some of those allegations were not substantiated. But they came from the committee, and the appropriate place to discuss them was the Public Safety Committee. That does not, it seems to me, mean that you shared this with the entire community, because the then it has the force of a decision. The Public Safety Committee has decided that this officer stinks. Well, no, they didn't. The questions were brought to the committee. The committee discussed the issue. And by rights, it appeared in the minutes, because that's what minutes do. They, they, they address the issues that are brought up so that the discussion that is made is complete. Sometimes those minutes are ready to be shared with other people. Sometimes they just shouldn't. They should be kept out. But the point of the matter is that Joyce's resolution last month wasn't talking about censorship or deleting anything. She wasn't saying that the minutes ought to have nasty things taken out of them and then released to the, to the common council in the world. What she was saying is that we need to have some control over the distribution of our reports and minutes. And that's a different thing. It's not censorship. It's something else. And it seems to me appropriate that each of the committees, in its collective wisdom, decide what can be shared with the community and what needs to be needs to wait until we're ready to share something that reflects both the committee and then the interests of the common council. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I'll be voting no on this issue. I'd like, I'm calling the question because this is I'd like Frank right to get the last word and then we'll vote. Frank? Right. Okay, thank you. Well let me just go around I've heard a couple of points and I just want to I happen to call 
information. The only way you can control information is in a non-public setting. Since everything here is public, you have no control over this. The word nugatory comes to mind, which is used in this type of wording on provisions, which is that that this that this resolution has no effect because you can't enforce it. You can't do anything about uh, the fact that people will come to meetings, the public will come and decide to share uh, information. I agree that the quality of reports, I, I think we're all in agreement on that, that the quality of reports, you know, uh, needs to be improved, okay. Um, I think, uh, and, and uh, Joyce is looking down, but I'm looking in your direction, uh, <laughs> that, that I, and I was not taking it uh, wrongly. Uh, uh, you, I think you said something along the lines of we don't want to hold this committee hostage to one um, uh, chairman's or whatever, one committee chair's uh, thing, something along that line. And I think, and, 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 and what in fact, that's true for all organizations, okay, is that if you have people behaving badly, you look to the organization to figure out how to solve that problem. Now, maybe they make an honest mistake. Maybe it's not an honest mistake. I'm not weighing in whether or not this is, you know, what's happened before were honest mistakes, and that's why I'm not going to rebut uh, Aaron's uh, uh, points here. Um, so I think, uh, yes, people can, can make mistakes, but you look to see how we react to them. And by saying, Oh, because there's a possibility people will make mistakes, we should not be able, as residents of our buildings, we're prohibited now, unless that committee votes by two-thirds, we're prohibited, according to this, uh, to distribute the, distribute the documents to our tenants. And you know what that means? That means a huge inefficiency here for the residents of the island. That means you can't say, gee, I know who the island house representative is, go to him or her and ask what's going on because, you know, I really want to know what's going on, but that's the reason why I elected them. Sorry, can't show you the documents, okay? Can't show you the committee reports. What do you mean you can't show me the island service?